Valentine's Day is around the corner, so today I'll be showing you how to make some Valentine's Day fondant cookies. So if you've got someone special that you want to give them to, uh, please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cream our butter mixture. So firstly, um, 250 grams of unsalted butter. Let's put that straight in. And then we have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Uh, you can also use uh, the vanilla seed um, from the pot as well if you prefer. I just think this is just nice and quick and easy. So two teaspoons of that, just straight in. And then we're just going to crack one egg into the mixture as well. So just crack it on the side, I find that's the easiest. And just crack it open, perfecto. And then lastly we're going to add three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. So caster sugar is just a really, really fine sugar. Perfect for baking. So we're just going to put three of those in. You can smell that vanilla already, so it smells amazing already. And we haven't even done anything. All right, now I'm just going to go and grab my mixer. exactly what you're looking for just a really really light mixture um, so now we're going to add in the flour so we're just going to add three cups of plain flour in just one cup at a time now we're just going to incorporate that flour into the butter mixture Get all that butter from the sides. You want to scrape all of that down. Mix it all through. And even down the bottom, there's going to be butter um, stuck to the side. So just make sure you're incorporating that as well. Just keep working that dough. Okay, and now the dough is ready, so we're going to roll it out. So what I like to do is just dust the bench with a little bit of flour. Just a little bit so it doesn't stick to the bench. That's enough. Okay, and this is the fun bit. So this is when you get your hands in there and get dirty. So just pick it up, pick the dough up. And just place it down on your board right and with clean hands um, just just knead the dough so we'll just be kneading like this I like to just pick it up just get my hair out of the way pick it up drop it down pick it up and you just want to create a ball If you need a little bit of extra flour, you can use um, just a little bit of extra flour, but don't put too much um, because then it's going to change the consistency of your dough. Okay, so we've got the ball now. So what I'm going to do is cling film um, or cling wrap the ball and then put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes um, just to harden up um, and get a bit cold. Um, just I find it easier to cut. Um, with the cutters if you do that so I'm going to do that now and then we'll be back okay so our dough has been in the fridge for 20 minutes so pressing it down a little bit which makes it easier when I'm going to roll it out with the rolling pin and I've just got two pieces of baking paper so what I'm going to do is just lay that on top okay and now just roll 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 and roll and roll and So 
soon as I cut out my cookies, I can just place them right on this. Okay, and now I'm just going to use my little heart-shaped cutter um, to cut out the biscuits. So just press that firmly down, lift up, press it down, lift up. Okay, and now what I like to do is just get a spatula. Just be very careful um, when you do this because you want that extra dough not to harm the shape of the hearts. So just roll that away and we'll be rolling that out with a rolling pin as well and using it. There's no wastage here. Just means more cookies. And then that can go straight onto the baking dish. Okay, now I'm going to put these Love Heart cookies in the oven. Uh, they'll take about 8 to 12 minutes just depending on your oven. My oven's been set to 180 degrees. Now the cookies have come out of the oven, so I'm just going to let them cool down uh, before we start decorating them. Now we get to the fun bit, um, the bit that I love to do. So we get into the icing, the fondant icing. So I've just got a cube of the um, fondant icing. It comes in a big block and I just chop off what I need at the time. Um, so it's really pliable, you just got to um, get in there and massage it a little bit. Um, so what I like to do first is I'm just making a little dint um, inside of the fondant icing because I'm just going to drop in the food colouring that way. Um, so right now I just need about half of the icing just to start off with, so you can just leave the other bit aside. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that there and I've got my little indentation in there. And then today, um, because we're doing Valentine's Day, I thought I'd just use um, a beautiful red dye. So I've got a pillar box red food coloring dye here. So I'm just gonna pour a little tiny bit um, into that fondant, in the middle of that fondant. So just tiniest amount. So I'm just massaging that fondant icing in my hands. And you can twist it, pull it, um, do whatever you like. Just as long as you're getting that um, beautiful red color incorporated. Okay, now that my um, fondant icing is ready, I'm going to roll it out. So I just get another piece of baking paper and place that on top. Press it down. Just flatten it out a little bit and then get your rolling pin and roll. You just want this really, really thin. Um, on top of those cookies because you don't want a thick fondant um, unless you prefer, it's up to you really, if you prefer a thick fondant um, definitely um, don't roll it as thin but I prefer more biscuit to fondant so um, I roll mine pretty thin but again it's just up to you and what you like. Now we've got our beautiful um, fondant, we're going to just use the same cutter as we used for the biscuits and cut the love heart shapes the same size. So just pop that down, give it a bit of a shake. So I just went to the local um, cake shop and I got this little fondant icing um, tool so you can feed through the lettuce so today I'm just going to put valentine on these ones okay now to assemble the cookies so what I've done first is just zap some white chocolate in the microwave just at 30 second intervals for about one minute and the white chocolate acts as a glue um, you can also use uh, jam, any jam that you like as well if you prefer to use that. So what we're going to do is just get a little bit of the white chocolate and just spread that on top of the cookie. 
you don't want too much because you don't want it spilling out the sides you just want enough that it's going to be able to hold that fondant in place grab your fondant and just lay that on top and then just press it down really really gently so you don't want it sliding off either and that's the first one done Day cookie recipe I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I hope you all have a beautiful Valentine's Day as well and I'll see you later